everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. Have you seen the new dome candy holder cards that I've done? They have been so popular. Everybody is just loving them. I use a 3.15 inch Christmas dome. It's a plastic dome. It comes in two parts and you use half for each card. I have had a lot of requests on how to make the make it the file to be able to be used with the smaller dome specifically a two and a half inch dome <clears throat> but there's other sizes as well so today we're going to open up silhouette and i'm going to show you how to do this in the silhouette software now if you are a cricut user i have done a separate video showing you the same techniques only in cricut design space so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to minimize this and I have opened up already my um, Gingerbread Girl Dome Holder card. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to keep everything in proportion. So what's going to happen is this card is about, uh, let's look at it, I think it's about eight and three quarters inch tall. I'm going to go back so that you can see what I'm doing. So it's about eight and three quarters inch tall. We're going to um, make everything smaller. So when we get done, it's going to be about six and a half inches, I think. Well, we'll look and see. So what you'll do is when you open up your silhouette and you bring the file in, it comes in grouped and you want to keep it grouped. If for some reason it's ungrouped, um, go ahead and select everything and group it. That's the most important thing is we want all of the files to be in a group. So next we're going to come over here to our shapes tool, our drawing tool, and I'm going to get the ellipse and I'm going to draw a circle. Now if I hold my shift key and click and drag, it will make a perfect circle. I'm going to fill this circle in with a color and it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use this yellow. And the reason I do that is it helps me um, keep track of the original circle and the smaller circle. Now what I want to do is I'm going to bring this circle up and I'm going to resize it so that it matches the size of my dome. The dome is two and a half inches and you want to add 0 0.01 <clears throat> just to give it a little bit of room so that the dome can fit nice inside your file. So we're going to come over here to our um, our size ratio and if it's a perfect circle you can close the padlock if it's not you'll need to open it and change both sizes sides mine's perfect so I'm going to close it and I'm going to type in 2.51 and enter all right now I'm going to just slide this right into the middle of my one of my pieces and it doesn't matter which one um, let me tell you what we have here so this is our first layer this is our second layer this is our third layer this white part is the decorative whoops you don't need to see that this white part is the decorative the icing and then these are also our embellishments down here are our dial backs so we have the the first layer, the actual dial, dial, and the top layer, and then the two washers. Okay, so I've put my circle into the center of one of these. I'm going to click on the original file so everything is selected. I have not selected the, the circle that I made, the new one. We're going to come over here to our transform panel, which is this little icon right here. It has the three rectangles with the line going through them. And we're going to open up the transform panel. Then we'll click on this second tab. This is our size or our scale. And you can do this a couple of ways. You could click on the corner and drag it. But the easiest way for me, I think, is to just decide how <clears throat> is to use the scale tool. And so let's start off with, I already know what I want to do, but we're going to start off with 75%. And click enter, and it shrinks it down 75%, and if I bring my circle over, it is actually too big. So let's undo that, get it back to the original size, and let's try 80%. And now, if I bring this over, 
80% is just darn near perfect. So we're going to use it at 80%. Now what I would do at this point is I would cut, um, cut just one of these shapes out. Doesn't matter which one. One of these with an opening. I would cut it out and make sure that your dome fits really nice and tight before going on. You don't want it too big so that it slides all over. You also don't want it too small so that you can't get the dome inside there. So cut one of these and make sure that it's it's fitting your dome. If it doesn't, you can adjust it just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So we're, we're gonna say this fits. I've cut it out, I've tested it, it works perfect. So we're gonna delete that circle. <clears throat> and now what I need to do is I need to change the size of the um, brad holes. So if I get my zoom tool and zoom in on those right there, I shrunk everything down, but that means I also shrunk down the dome or the brad holes. And so they're probably going to be too tight for those brads that I'm using. So we need to bring those back up to the right size. So I'm going to right click and ungroup everything. And then we're going to just start with one of our pieces. I'm going to, whoops, still needs to be ungrouped. Okay, we're going to um, select this piece right here. I'm going to try and put it right in the middle of the screen so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to right click and release the compound path. So you'll see that I have the outer image, the inside window, and the brad hole. I'm going to click off of it to deselect and then I'm going to click back on that little circle that should be the brad hole. You will notice that it's 0 0.099. That's way too tiny for the brads that I'm going to use. So I'm going to come up here to my um, scale tool again. I'm going to keep the padlock closed and we're going to change it to 0.13. And it will work perfectly now. So I'm going to select all of those. I did rubber band select, which means I just clicked above it and dragged across. I have a bounding box around my original image, the window, and the brad. And I'm going to right click and make a compound path. And we're going to do that for both the washers, this outer piece, and the actual dial. So let me do it one more time. I'm going to right click, release compound path. Click somewhere to deselect, select the brad circle, change it to 0.13, then select everything again, right click and make compound path. And you're going to do that again with the washer. So I'm going to right click, whoops, right click, release compound path, deselect, click on the middle to select, change it to 0.13. Select both of them and make compound path. And I can either copy that or I can do it with this one and I can do it with this file. Then when I open, or this file is completely ready to go. It is, everything is going to match up. It's going to fit my dome, but it's also going to be a little bit smaller. So this is now seven inches instead of the eight and three quarters. So this is going to be a smaller card, but it's going to fit that two and a half inch dome perfectly. So what if you are using a file with a pull tab? So you would do the same thing. You're going to go over here and get your ellipse tool, draw a circle. This time I'm not going to make mine a circle so I can show you what I'm doing. We're going to fill it with a color and then we're going to resize it. So this time it's not a perfect circle. I'm going to open up the padlock. I'm going to type 2.51, hit tab, that takes it to height, 2.51, and I can do the same thing, put it inside one of these, select everything, open up our scale tool, it's under the transform panel, and we're going to do 80% again, because that seemed to work. That is perfect. So we're going to delete that. Again, at this point, I would cut just one of these before you cut everything. Make sure that your dome fits. And now you'll notice that um, your pull tab is also 
at proportion and is going to fit perfectly and without the dial pieces you don't need to change anything so this is the quickest and the easiest way to do it everything's in proportion and it's ready to go well what if you wanted to keep the size of the dome of the card but you still needed to change the inside so let's open up this next tab this time we're going to go with the gingerbread so I've got the gingerbread boy and this time we want to keep the height but we want to make sure that the dome inside is going to fit it's another really easy fix so all I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it I'm going to select my first piece I'm going to right click and release compound path now I don't know if you can see it on the screen or not but there is my inside circle so I want to click on just the inside circle and I'm going to change that to that 2.51 keep the padlock closed because it's already a perfect circle we're going to change it to 2.51 and enter and it shrunk that circle down so now I can select both so I'm just clicking above it and dragging my mouse across the outer shape in the circle I'm going to right click and make compound path I'm going to do the same thing to this one I'm going to release the compound path just check click on that middle circle not everything else I'm going to change it to 2.51 select everything again right click and make compound path and that is all ready to go and you don't need to change your circle your brad holes on this one because we did not change the height of the file so this is still going to be that seven and three quarters or um, the original size is still going to be the original size but now you have a smaller hole for your dome that is for the pull tabs or excuse me the dial so now if you wanted to keep everything the same size again but we're doing a pull tab um, we're going to come over here and we're going to open this one it's the gingerbread man again so I would change the inside first I'm going to ungroup it and just like before I would release the compound path I'm going to select that inner circle make sure you click right on it we're going to change it to the 2.51 select both of them right click and make compound path and then of course you would do it with this little gingerbread with the cutout face as well but now we've got this pull tab and the pull tab if I drag it over whoops those need to be ungrouped if I drag it over it's actually bigger than the circle so how am I going to fix that well let's zoom in so you can see what we're going to do we're going to click on this I'm going to right click and we're going to release the compound path so follow me along with this it's not difficult we're going to select the outer edge or the outer design the outer gingerbread and I'm going to cut it so it would be control C or right click and cut and the gingerbread piece disappears it's in your clipboard so now we're going to select all of this so I just clicked across and dragged it so I've got the pull tab and all the little perforation marks and I need to group it and now we can resize this if you look over here your width and your height are different and that's because the height has that little pull tab that little arc so we want to make sure that we're changing the width make sure your padlock is closed change the width to 2.26 so it's a little bit smaller than the dome so that the pull tab fits inside that dome go ahead and hit enter it's going to keep it all in proportion and it's just going to make it a little bit smaller now I'm going to right click and this time I'm going to paste in front and we want to make sure we do paste in front and not paste just paste because if we hit just paste it'll put it somewhere on the board we want to paste it in front so it pastes that gingerbread right where we originally copied it so we're going to paste it in front but then we're going to right click and send it to the back and you'll notice that your pull tab is right on top of your little gingerbread piece so we're going to select that 
And this time we're just going to group it. And that is ready to go. So now if I fit to window, there's my back piece or layer one. There's layer two. There's the decorative panel and his little cheeks. And then the pull tab in the back and it is completely ready to go. So pretty simple to make your file fit those dome cards. You just have to decide do you want to keep the card the same size as it was before or shrink everything down into proportion. I hope that helps. If you have any questions please feel free to email me. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos and have a great day.